guess where I'll be answering your questions. Teacher Brian asks, if you were given a chance to travel anywhere with a co-teacher, who will you bring and why? Well, I have two of my closest friends working in 5-1 Talk as well. They've been with 5-1 Talk for four years, more than four years. I'll bring them with me because they're my closest friends. Teacher Valerie asks, do you see yourself still teaching in 5-1 Talk in five years? Well, I certainly hope so. but. There will be a lot of changes in five years and things get higher if you know what I mean. Teacher Huandi asks, how do you define a crazy fun teacher? Crazy doesn't really mean crazy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's more than just making faces, making funny voices. Give a purpose for every action. Don't just make faces for the sake of it. So we have some questions from teacher Risa. What is your favorite age to teach? Actually, I don't look at the age. It's not about the age. What I like is the eagerness to learn. If the student is really eager to learn, then it's party time. What hours do you normally teach? I'm from Manila, Philippines, and our peak hours are from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. during the weekdays and 9 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. during weekends. So those are the hours that I normally teach. What is your go-to prop, reward, or strategy to use when you have an upset student? Basically, I try to sympathize with them because they are usually burned out because of a lot of homework for seven days a week. So I sympathize with them and I emphasize that it's time to have fun in my class. It's their break time. Teacher Sharina Ann asks, what else do you do and what did you do before teaching in 5-1 Talk? Well, I still am a multimedia artist that specializes in video and graphic design. When I have a lot of projects, then I don't have a lot of classes. When I don't have a lot of projects, then I will have a lot of classes. So, vice versa. Lisa Markel Sparkles asks, how do you keep your energy up? And how many do you teach in a row? Well, I created a crazy fun reputation and if I don't keep that reputation up, if my energy is lower, is way lower than the usual, then the student will notice. They're expecting to have a crazy fun class, so that's the pressure that I put on myself and I try to live up to it as much as I can. I don't go over four classes in a row or five classes in a row to avoid burning myself out because refreshing yourself or recharging is uh, quite important to do those types of classes. Teacher ain't go rough, did I say that correctly? Asks, how do you deal with a parrot learner? Well, I just say what they need to say. Instead of asking, are you ready? I'm going to say, let's go. And don't forget your TPRs and demonstrate some actions, important actions. Cats Del Rosario asks, how many wigs do you have? And which wig do you want to get still? Actually, I've lost count, but I'm sure it's above 20 wigs. Yeah, if I could collect all the color combinations in the world, I'll collect those wigs. Baby Mariel underscore 17 asks, How old are you? I am years old. JMESV asks, 
Holiday greetings, please. It's not a question. Happy holidays, Miss Jamie. Teacher Viveka asks how to be a consistent, crazy fun, and engaging teacher. Well, again, it's the reputation, and you have to live up to that reputation since the students are expecting you to be that way. Teacher Ken Mark Oh Sir asks, Teacher, how do you put on a smile in class even if you're not in the mood? Well, that's a good question. Um, basically, I just flip on a switch. It's like an on, off, on, off. When I'm having a bad day and it's class time, it's show time. You gotta leave everything behind and flip on that switch. See? On, off. On. Teacher just underscore C underscore here asks Do you mostly have new students or regular ones? I mostly have regular students, but new students always appear. What is your pay rate per class? My pay rate per class is a master teacher B pay rate. Do you earn money from your YouTube channel? That's possible. Well honestly no, because I'm not I'm not quite active. <laughs> so I need to post more. Next year. Uh, I like this question. What is your dream job and do you plan on changing your career in the future? Well, my dream job was to become a professional basketball player. But, you know, I realized it's not for me. Another dream job would be... Well, it's not a dream job, but a dream to make a full feature film. Another dream job, um, a professional poker player. And do you plan on changing your career in the future? I think only time will tell. Tinbread underscore asks, What do you do to those stubborn students who doesn't want to participate in class? I do my usual routine, and if my best effort doesn't get their attention, then I let them be. Because I don't want to force them to listen. I want my effort to be the one that makes them decide to participate. If they don't want to listen, then I just go on with the class. It's like I'm teaching no one, but I'm teaching. Remember not to stress yourself. Keep on going. Go with the flow. Next up is from teacher Jess Wealthy. Hi teacher, have you had any complaints from a parent before? What is it? Well, I'm grateful that I haven't had any complaints from a student or a parent before. The only complaint that I usually hear is, Teacher John Lucas, I did not book any of your classes. What do you do to keep yourself fit and healthy? I work out three to four times a week. I also used to run, but I'm trying to get back to that because uh, having good cardio will really help me more in class. Why are you shy in person? What? <laughs> Teacher Flowerens underscore asks, how many students do you teach per day? As much as possible, I want to limit my teaching hours to 8 hours, so that's 16 students, but recently I've been having maybe 12 or less classes a day because I'm doing something else, personal stuff. Teacher Diana asks, how do you keep yourself motivated and be a crazy fun teacher all the time? Well, I created a reputation upon myself and that is giving crazy fun classes. So I need to live up to that expectation from the students. So yeah give pressure to yourself. Teacher Ellery Gore, how do you make classes fun and exciting for your regular students? You gotta dig down deep. Maybe try to search for some party games or game shows and try to incorporate them in your classes. Or look for some new English songs for kids that, that you can learn because your student is probably a long time 5-1 talk student and they've probably heard everything already so make them hear something new we always like something new how can I make the class fun when it comes to the reading part I always want the student to emphasize the emotion so it can also help them uh, improve their pronunciation intonation and I usually also demonstrate what the characters do during the conversation if they're having a phone call then go get go get the phone your cell phone and Try to act like you're calling the student. Teacher Isai, I've been watching your videos and you seem not to feel tired at all. How'd you do that? Actually, I am dead tired. 
Teacher Ryan, have you ever been penalized? Well, in my two years, of course, but not a lot. It's basically because of absences, but again, not a lot. <laughs> really, really few. Teacher Leonard, how do you praise adult students and how do you transition to the next page? Well, I try to treat all students equally. I treat them maturely, no matter what age. So when I praise them, it's like, nice. All right, way to go. As much as possible, I avoid good job, great job. So try to think of other praises. Then think of how you talk to your friend. If you ever praise your friend, how do you praise them? Then try to do your version with your student. Teacher Lenny, when will be your next training? Probably in January 2020, so watch out. Follow my Facebook and Instagram so you will be up to date. Teacher Nicole, do you have a girlfriend? So that's all for today. If you have any more questions, just comment down below or message me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you on the next one. Stay crazy fun.